one and a half minutes past 8 p.m. in the evening. Therefore, wherever you are, we are welcoming you. That this is Radio Biafra Live Transmission, as always. There is nowhere on this planet we cannot broadcast from. It doesn't matter what it is. Our technology is exceptional. There is nothing we cannot do to reach our people all over the world. As we are now broadcasting from Zurich here in Switzerland, this message is being listened to all over the world via satellite. People are listening to us via radio, biafra.co. If you go to peopleofbiafra.org, you will hear us. If you go to biafrarestoration.com, you will hear us. If you go to Biafra Television, we are there. If you have downloaded free Radio Biafra app, you will receive Radio Biafra. If you have tuned in or have subscribed to tune in, you will get Radio Biafra there. There are a multitude of platforms playing Radio Biafra transmission to the hearing of humanity. That is why we are formidable. There is nothing we cannot do because we are uniting the children of God under the banner of truth and honesty everywhere there are human beings on this earth. What we are doing has never been done before, never attempted in the history of freedom fighting. We want to do this in style, in the Biafran style. They denied us between 67 and 70 because we were ill-prepared. This time around, we are prepared and making sure that we leave no stone unturned in the pursuit of what we know to be rightfully ours. Therefore, as we welcome you, as we say all the time, we ask you to welcome other people. I am sitting here before me, arranged a group of their friends here in Zurich, some with their families. It's a delight and an honor to be here to see such level of preparedness. Maybe the society that are living in, in it has somehow rubbed off on them. This place is very, very precise. No wonder they make wristwatches here. This place is very, very tidy, well structured. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And we can report to the world that our people here in Zurich are copying the people that are living in their land and doing things the way it should be done. I have been highly impressed since I came and I continue to be impressed by the clinicality, the precision, the dedication, and the hard work they have brought to bear in service of their country. To all of you here, I welcome you. To all dear friends across Switzerland, we welcome you. To all dear friends all over the world, we say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to our brothers in the far eastern part of the world, those who have dedicated their lives in service to their country. My name is Nnam Dekano, the host and director of Radio Biafra, and by the very special grace of Chukwa Abiyama, and no other, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I am honored to be in your midst. I am humbled to be here. And together, all of us are going to get Biafra. Not just any useless Biafra. Not a Biafra that will look like the Zoological Republic. Not a Biafra that will look like any other country in Africa. We are going to build a civilization worthy of emulation by everybody upon this very earth because we are the children of the Most High God. The reason why I am here today preaching this very gospel is to tell you who you are because most of you do not know. I am here to tell you that you are directly descended from God himself, a very special breed of people upon this very place, this very planet that we live, that we inhabit. No people like us, none whatsoever. I can prove it to you. If you want it, I'll give you all my proof this very evening, if you care to see them. That is what we're here to do, to take you home to where you belong. You don't belong in Switzerland. You don't belong in Zurich. You can visit here if you want to. Your home is Biafra land. That is where you come from. The reason why we are doing what we are doing is so we can take our children back to where they come from. Because somebody gave birth to a child and named the child Ahamifuna. If we remain here, we will be obliterated. History will not be kind to us. That is why we have come here today to preach this gospel as we have done all around the world. The barrister has joined me. 
Very shortly, you shall hear the voice of the very eminent barrister and attorney at law. But for now, all we are doing is to make sure that we bond this family together. From today onwards, any Biafran coming to Zurich will be received in Zurich. Anybody from Zurich traveling to anywhere in the world where you have our family, where you have the indigenous people of Biafra, they will welcome you as well. They will take care of you. It is their duty. It is their obligation because this family is impregnable. The largest of its kind anywhere on this planet. The indigenous people of Biafra are in over 88 countries and counting. We want to do this thing in a way that those coming after us remember us. One thing is paramount, truth and honesty. If you're not truthful, you have no business here. If you are not honest, you cannot be with us. All we ask of you in dedication of service to your country is to remain truthful and honest at all times, regardless. All the principal officers serving their country in various capacities that have your names here. You must be truthful. You must be honest that you are there on the Lord day. Very, very important. If there is any sign of fraud, misconduct, or conduct unbecoming of a genuine Biafra, Biafra will not come because Chukwa Biyama will not entrust his own kingdom on this earth into the hands of those who are unclean. Therefore, it is important, it is of absolute necessity that you refrain from anything that will contaminate you. As for us, we remain incorruptible. Incorruptible. By which I mean that in our conduct, in service to our country, we are whiter than white and whiter than snow. Without blemish. The only thing that we can be accused of is that we are fanatical about our country. For me, the only thing that matters in life is Biafra. Everything else is ordinary and secondary to me. Everything including family. There is nothing I will not sacrifice for Biafra. Nothing. Because maybe someday some of you will understand Biafra the way I do. And when you understand Biafra the way I do, there is nothing you wouldn't give to be worthy to be called a Biafra. Living free in that land that you could have given to us. That is why we are here. And I thank all of you. Before we go any further, even before I invite the barrister to please address you and the rest of our people all over the world, we will go to our people here to give us a very brief prayer. Very, very brief. Because Chukwa Abiyama is our God. Without Chukwa Abiyama, we cannot do what we are doing today. That we are here in this place broadcasting. You can see the equipment I brought with me. And the whole world is listening. On different platforms, including satellite. Our signal will go from here to London, from London to our providers, they will put it in outer space. So that people listening in the villages, including my own family, this very moment, they are receiving Radio Biafra on satellite. Anything you discuss here with me will be heard all over the world. That is a testament to our endurance and our ability to deliver on anything we say we are going to do. The enemies may try but they can't succeed because we are the children of God. That is why if you're part of us, you must not ever, ever, ever contemplate retreat or surrender. We are not going to stop until Biafra comes. There will be no exile. It's either we get Biafra or we'll be in the grave, dead. There is no alternative. We will not go to Abuja. We will not sit down with any politician, talk less of negotiating with them. Any day we do that, we have sold out we are no longer Biafrans. We are no longer as puritanical as we claim to be. That is why anything we say, we pack it up. Those that know what they understand us, they can gossip, that nobody can say we have been disloyal to our country. Nobody can say that. They may say we are stubborn, we are too rigid, we do things in a particular way. Yes, all that is very wonderful. You cannot say that you saw me dining with Rocha Sukorocha. Nobody can come out and accuse us of serving the interest of Nigeria or asking Nigerians to register at the back 
when you come to the front, you tell us you're fighting for Biafra. That is fraudulent and unacceptably so. You must be pure, very, very resilient and mentally tough. Not at the slightest hint of trouble you fall apart. We need men and women who are very, very strong, and I'm grateful we have them here in Zurich. Please, my dear brother, you will pray that humanity may understand that when every other race is abandoning God, that the only people still naming their children Chidiabere, Chukwe Buka, are Biafran people. When entire humanity are playing with the word of God, that we remain faithful to who we are because we know who made us and that entity is Chukwe Biyama. That doesn't change. And because of that, we will not change. Please go ahead. Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord everlasting Father, the I am that I am. We, your children, have gathered here this evening to fight for our own right. Before we ask you further, Lord, we are thanking you for the life of our director. Chief Stan the Colonel. Lord, you have been using him to bless our land. You have been using him to fight our cause. We pray to you, Lord to always encourage you to go further in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, our Heavenly Father, many of us are scattered all over the world. Many of us are still unbelievers of Biafra. We, the few that believed, Lord, as we are transmitting tonight from Zurich, we are begging you, Lord, to touch their hearts so that they will come back to us in Jesus' name. Amen. We are fighting a peaceful cause. We are never, we've never thought of resorting to violence. Lord, because we are peaceful, Please give us back what is ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let the world know that the stone the God has rejected, later became the cornerstone. That is all we are asking you tonight. We are, all, we are also asking you to cover us with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. So that everything we are discussing tonight, we touch everybody, wherever he or she is around the world. Please, Lord, guard and protect us. Don't bring any enemy into our midst tonight, so that we transmit peacefully. And go home peacefully. God and protect our leader. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very, very much. This is Radio Biafra. We continue to welcome our people. Our lines are going up already. We ask them to wait. Before we go on to present the news headlines accompanying this summary and have their friends all over the world acknowledge the marvelous work that those of you in Switzerland are doing, especially here in Zurich. We must first of all go to the very eminent Barrister who as ever reliably has joined us from London. Barrister, please, if you can hear my voice, our people are here, and they are the indigenous people of Biafra. They answer to Biafrans in Switzerland, but they live in Zurich. They have their counterparts and their brothers and sisters all over the world answering the same name wherever they are, but collectively and together as one massive family we are in Jesus from Biafra. You will please accept very graciously their presence. Please go ahead. What do you think you know Biafra? So you are hosting director. I know that all of you have been waiting for you for a long time and now you have it. And I pray you look after me, all of you individually. I can see all of you are smiling graciously. May you are there, I'm a blessed one of you. Director is in your midst. I'm sure he's blessed. He brought the blessings of you are there. And it is of Biafra to all of you. And I hope you accept all in kindness what is going to tell you. The message is bringing to me and every other story in relation to the restoration of Biafra. I thank all of you. I thank you for what you to thank every Biafra wherever you are in West, North or South. We are always on air. AMPN. Regardless of where we are. The record was reversed a few hours ago. Now we need this with the run. This is how we do things. No matter where we are. We stay my own on what we are doing. We don't give excuses, we don't look back, we don't say please for even for this or that. We carry on. So we do that is our weakness. We do things in a stylish way. Our everything we do is unconventional. We don't operate at the same attitude like others. 
we create our own temple, we create our own stylish way of doing things. Because we are different. We have this unique way of seeing ourselves because we are proud of who we are. And that's why we want to restore Piafra at all costs. We did not say any excuse for this or that at all costs. Because Piafra was called. That is our existence, that's our pride, that is our nation. God bless all of you and you. Quietly listen to the voice that is coming from God. Piafra might all of you. I welcome all of you. With director at the end of our prayer, you will lead us into today's program and beyond on the Biafra Muslim story. We don't be afraid. Please, you know the usual story. Get your pen and paper. Director always have information. And the thing that is that everything is evident. Nothing we say here without having a proof for what we say. Once again, I thank all of you. Those who have the issue of the Biafra at heart. Those who are looking at the Biafra. And the Africans who are looking at the Africans, they complex all of you with all the contributions you make for everything, for every endeavor. <coughs> As for, it's usually done, usually fulfilled. But we also do the same for you. For you, my dear, is our only one that we worship through eternity. We will not pay by we will not look back, we will not bend back. Once you push up, we will not forward, we will not fall back. Thank you very much. That was the voice of the barrister. The first line is still more people are complaining. I'm very bitter. Yes, yes. If you can turn the best line down, that will do it. The best line is a bit high, it's a bit much. We welcome you. This is your radio station, Radio Biafra. This is our mobile unit, our main space in London. Our job is very simple. We will not fail you. But sometimes you need to reassure us as well that you will not fail us. Very, very important. We will not go forward and then go backwards and tell you, oh my God, see me, and that's the way to do it. That day you know we have talked about it. There is only one way to get to Biafra, to go and take our freedom. The template has been there since the dawn of humanity on earth. When Frederick Luger came, he did not ask anybody for permission. Did they ask you permission before they come to Nigeria? No. No. Huh? No. 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 Was there any comfort? No. no. I can't hear you. No. no. Ma. 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 Even the child is saying no. <laughs> there was no comfort. Can anybody tell me here the meaning of the word Nigeria? What does it mean? No. It has no meaning. No. 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 What is the meaning of Nigeria in the Nigerian language? Nigerian language. In Igbo language? Nothing. Does it mean anything? No. It's nothing. How about those that answer Nigerians? So who are they? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We keep our approach very simple. We present news in a style and in a way that makes it palatable for people who English is not the first language. Very, very important that we do things the way we do. That is why everybody listens to Radio Biafra, including the Swiss government. Everybody listens because of this platform that they the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth because we don't lie. We don't know how to. We speak the truth always. That was the oath we took. And I've got told you those of us that is the oath that each and every one of you must take. To remain without fear in the presence of your enemies, regardless of how daunting the task is, the same heart that Joshua had is what you must all possess to speak the truth all the time, even if it leads to your death. Very, very important. You cannot afford to be untruthful. You are not allowed that privilege. You cannot be. Or else you are there on the ground is blessed for us. That is why we ask you, we beg, we plead. I say to you, Biyama, we know that you are God. The clearest manifestation, the clearest fulfillment that you exist as the creator of the heavens and the earth is to give us Biafra. Because we are your children. We are your children and for that reason and reason alone, you must reveal, you must remove, 
you must banish this veil of darkness and small points. Very important. We go on to present the news this very day and the accompanying news summary. Wherever you are on this planet, this is your radio station. This is Radio Biafra. Not two, not three, not four. We don't have any imitation. We don't have anybody remotely close to doing what we're doing. Because we are formidable. Exceptionally formidable. And we are going to prove it. They are telling you today, for those of us that cross you back from the Christian Association of Nigeria is urging Christians to stop eating suya. That they may have been poisoned by Boko Haram, intent on killing you, intent on taking over your land, intent on making sure that all these beautiful children do not go back to where they come from. Which means that in the next two generations, your names will disappear. I'll give you a very simple example. I have one child, one son in America. If in America decides to go and marry somebody from Portugal and not come home, I don't say don't marry somebody from Portugal, they bring them home. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Unless uh, where you come from, a woman marries a man. I don't know for you. Where you come from, a man marries a woman. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Not the other way around. Yeah. No. And of course, when you come to Europe, they can kick you out. If you mess up, the back that we come from, we marry them, they don't marry us. Yes. If my son decides to marry somebody who doesn't want to come home, they have children. And those kids decide not to come home. What happens to the kind of family? Yes. It's close. It's close. They become for the kids. Close and close forever. As simple as that. We don't want that to happen. We bear the name Ahamifun. That is why we must make sure we protect our name and the only way for us to do it is to walk in unison as one. If you defend Biafra, you defend your name. Don't defend and get Biafra, your name will disappear. All of us, we need Biafra more than Biafra needs us. Because with Biafra, we begin to restore our dignity that we shattered and lost for very many years. That's why we're here. And that is why you can do what you're doing on this one. They are asking you not to eat suya because they are killing you. I believe that the high rate of death, the high rate of mortality in Biafra land is as a result of food poisoning. When we were small, we used to bury one person in two years. We started burying people once every year. These are very old people, mind you. Now it's a thing of joy and to be boastful that I'm, I'm attending a burial. You see people, they will tell you, uh, I went to bury my uncle. I'm just coming back to, to bury my sister. I let that be said. I'm almost... That you went to bury somebody is something of joy to us. Such morbid culture, we must consign to the scrap heap of history. That is why they are warning you not to eat here. The 19 new states proposed by the expired geological republic and their capital. There are no jobs, no schools, no good roads, no water, no electricity, people dying every day, kidnapping, nepotism, all manner of abominable deeds. These men they sent to become fat in Abuja, they are telling us that the best way to solve the problem of the zoo is by creating more states. We have the states here and their capital. We have time to go to them. Not because we are reporting news on the zoo, but to remind humanity that these are not the sort of people that you stay with. You don't stay with them. No, you don't. Nigerian soldiers behaving like Boko Haram members, according to Wilson Inca, the of Man. They have spoken again. Sometimes it makes a bit of sense that this is what we're reporting all this while. After all, the chief sponsor of Boko Haram is a retired Major General. Another chief sponsor of Boko Haram is a retired General. All heads of state. So why shouldn't their own soldiers they recruited be involved in the killing of unarmed innocent men and women in the name of Allah? 
funny enough, most of you know that today is the anniversary of the bombing, the 7 7 in London 2005. Do you know that? Seven, today is the anniversary, 7 7 2005. When the beloved Muslims, cherished and loved so much by the British, killed British people on their own side. In 2005, nobody wants to see, the, see such a thing. A woman was burnt, her face peeled off, her face, her face melted away from her face. Families suffer terribly because of that. We are not terrorists. Sometimes I go to the airport and I say to them, why can't you see my name? Once you see that my name is Biafran, there is no need for you to attack me. It's not in our blood, it's not in our nature to go out and kill people. Senselessly. Instead, other people come to kill us. That all that rubbish is coming to an end very, very soon. Thanks to you and thanks to the Air Force they have made here. The National Conference delegates received notice of attack. There is insecurity there as well, as the same zoo itself brings in security upon every aspect of life on a daily basis in that very abominable contraption. Can somebody tell me who founded Switzerland? Nobody. Huh? Nobody. Who founded Switzerland? Nobody. 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 Who named it Switzerland? Swiss people. Themselves. They decided it. <laughs> Who founded the zoo called Nigeria? Luka. 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 Is here now. The same person founded Nigeria. Is here Nigeria. No. Amazing, isn't it? So you cannot remember who founded Switzerland? No, no, there are four or five men that came together to decide they want to live together. Because four or five men, yeah. four or five families came together to decide to live together. Is that correct? Yes. And today they're in peace. Yes. And doing very well. Same culture. culture. Same culture. Prospering. Same religion. Same religion. All one people is Swiss people. Same. How many religions do you have where you come from? Thousands. Millions. From country. <laughs> Every street. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Hence, you know, yes. Worship anything you want to worship. That is your priority. That is your business between you and your God. Yet let what you're doing not interfere with the well being of other people. That's what we're saying. They not want a fresh vote. They have come down to Abuja. They are saying that the vote creating the new United States is unacceptable to them. So they want it put and a new vote conducted to determine if one of the best days or not. And also we are reporting today that in the hometown of Boko Haram, that they are struggling to keep away the attackers. Boko Haram is doing exactly the same thing that ISIS is doing in Iraq. They now want to attack, eliminate, and control territories. They are no longer content with carrying out terrorist attacks. They now want to control their own territories. The you hear about the guy in Iraq that said he's the new caliph of all Muslims in the world? Yeah. Al Baghdadi. Yes. You know that? What's his name? Al Baghdadi. He is named after Baghdad, which means he has no father. He was probably born on the road. <laughs> so you don't know there's a town called Tafawa Balewa. Yeah. Do you know that? Yes. You don't know? That is the Baoshi state. Do you know there's a town called Shagari? He's <laughs> just like going up and somebody answering um, on the my <laughs> on Mr. Imu State. <laughs> Aminu Kanu. Aminu from Kanu. Born on the road. Where you come from, if you don't have a kunna, you have a kunna. Yes. If you don't have, at least you may not have a father if the man is missing or the woman doesn't know who got her pregnant. But at least we know who the mother is. Is that correct? Sure. Yes. yes. You go to your mother's village. You are called one deal. They will take care of you. Yes. They will give you land to build a house if you are poor. Yes. Some of the things that we have forgotten. The only people on this planet Earth where every boy 
regardless of how small you are, you are a landlord. You must be a landlord in your life. Is that right? Yes. That's our tradition. You must be a landlord. I have never seen people do this type of thing anywhere in, on this planet. Never, ever, ever. If you come from even Switzerland, they'll say, oh, if you cannot buy a house, if you're lucky, when your parents are writing their will, they'll mention your name. They'll give you the kitchen and the house. Maybe you convert it into a lot of things. If you're not lucky, they'll give all the money to an animal sanctuary somewhere. <laughs> That's what they do now. They give yeah, it to the yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. So when over here, when your father starts to buy too many dogs or cats, you begin to worry. Especially if they're about to die. Because they are willing to say, I give everything to the dog home for very big after cats. And you're finished. But where you come from, as long as you're a male child, circumcised on the eighth day that you're born, one day you'll be a landlord. Compulsory. We are the only people that do this anywhere in the world. The only people. No other race does it. No other race. And people are telling me I have to be in Nigeria. That's what I can't understand. What can Nigeria offer me? If we are separate as a people, running our country, developing our institutions, we would have perfected all of these things and humanity would copy from us. But he said that everywhere, all of us struggling and begging for papers. We have survived to come to the desert. You swam across the Mediterranean Sea. Most of those you came with the die in the desert, most drowned in the Mediterranean. You get to Europe and you are begging them for paper to stay in their country. I see for all these beautiful buildings fell from heaven. I can't Yes, yes. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Are you telling me if we build all these things in India, it will fall down? No, no. Let's fall down again. No, no, no. It is called humiliation. You get to this place, you start scrambling for papers. You start begging people to marry you so that you can stay here. It happened to all of us. Everybody. Who said it didn't happen to them? Who are you? It happened to everybody. If you are born here, it happened to your parents. It happened to everybody, myself included. You'll be going about begging, you go to next floor, begging a woman to marry you. Am I lying? <laughs> Normally, if you are very lucky, the girl agrees to be seeing you. It won't be up to one week to post marriage. Am I lying? One week. And then the girl will say, You don't even know my son, you don't even know where I live. And you're claiming you love me, you want to marry me. And then when you go home to get married, the girl as well will ask you, Have you been married before? Because they know what we do. Because on radio, Biafra will be the truth. You may not like it, it's normal. And the question is, is it the truth? If it is, then we tell it here. This is regular people must go on to bring the news in better detail. An official of the Christian Association of Nigeria, the Southeast Bishop Emmanuel Chukuma, is a good man, I know him personally, have warned of the possibility of Boko Haram resorting to the use of Suya as a means of spreading their jihad across the south of the country by poisoning millions of innocent people. According to Khan, Boko Haram intends to step up its terror campaign across the zoo with plans to deploy 6,000 fundamentalist recruits across the south of the country. It is added that as part of this campaign, Boko Haram intends to impose poisonous powder which Syria sellers relate their meat with in a bid to kill millions. You know what that powder is? Anthrax. And rice. It kills you, you die of it. When you go and eat house as you are, and you're very sick, you go back home. Then you remember that the Okonkwa said something to you that he would kill you many years ago. You don't know if it's here you ate, excuse me. You don't know if it's the watermelon, the tomatoes from the north. 
that are killing our people. He said, Jeunesse, don't know. He's your, he's your stepmother that has been planning to kill you all this while. The woman is innocent. We have gotten to the point whereby people are planning to kill us. I want somebody to tell me today what wrong did we do to house our family people? I want to know. What is that? Envious. That is why when people are envious of Radio Biafra, I tell them to go and ask their mother because she must have been with the house of Lanier. Envy. You took our money, we didn't complain. You killed us 3.5 million. We only remember them on the title of men. We never complain. You said you can only sell building materials. After that, we said, fine. Everything they say, we say, okay, there's no problem. Then why are you killing us? What is the rationale behind the killing of our people? They are killing us because they want to take over your land. Your land is the only place across the entire West Africa that Islam did not touch the Atlantic Ocean. In other words, you are the last barrier between the conquest of the kingdom of heaven by the forces of darkness of the earth. The last people, if Islam makes it into the Atlantic Ocean by taking Biafra land, Lucifer would have won this battle on this earth because people are abandoning God all over the place. We are the only children of God left, capable of resisting them. That is not Islam. You know in Israel that is Islam, you know that? The least time that is just is that correct? Do you know that in Ethiopia, they allowed Islam to come in. Now Islam have numbered them. But the thing is that the Prime Minister of Ethiopia said no Muslim will run for Prime Minister's, Prime Minister's office. They said, they said openly. Are you aware of that? The man said that a visitor is a visitor. That they are visitors, they cannot run. In Ethiopia. They are planning to run. And any day they go into office, Ethiopia is gone. I told them. The only place we are to grab him. That is why God has no choice. I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth. God has no choice but to deliver him. The only place on this very planet Earth. The only place here where there is no Islam is in Biafra land. That is the only place. We are the only people left. God has three children that we blessed. Biafra. Ethiopia and Israel. Only three. In Israel, they are struggling with Muslims who live there, who live there. In Ethiopia, it's a matter of time. Islam will overrun them. We are the only people still intact. So, Chukwu Abiyama knows that if I allow these ones to go as well, there is no place I can call my own again. In a, in a place I created. That's why he has no choice than to bless us and to deliver us because they want to kill us. They want to create more Latin states. The details of the new states proposed by the Hungary National Conference to be created in addition to the 36 already in existence have been identified. What is the landmass of the zoo that they want to create states upon? I don't know, let's not go into that. I want to give you some of the names of the states. Have you had the states? No. 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 There is a place they call a deep state, <laughs> which will be created out of the present Niger state. It will be made up of Agadi, Bida North, Edati, uh, Abakoba, Katia, Lapai, Labon, more part of the government with its capital in Bida. Apa state will be cut out of the present Benue state and made up of Agati, Apa, Otrugo, Oju, Obi, Obi, Ojimini. Oh, he mean Oh, he mean Oh, he Yeah, they said they're not in the Okay. Oh, 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 body, oh, the government areas with the capital of the Uko. There's a place they want to call Kainji State. You know, because the dam is not working. Do you know there's a dam on Valente? Yes, Kainji Dam. Called Kainji Dam. Kainji Dam. Oh, dear Lord. You don't hear about Kainji Dam anymore because you hear about generators. That, that Kainji Dam is there to generate electricity. 
Do you know that? Yes. Electricity. Yeah. Because it has been empty for a very long, with only fishes in the water and the dam areas. They are trying to create a Kainji state. So the Kainji power station is now a state. <laughs> they will receive the allocation. <laughs> Anybody unfortunate enough to come from Nigeria, may Satan have pity upon your soul. Not God, Satan. Kainji State. We have this Kainji Dam that is not going to be a state. And the capital of that state will be one of the turbines. As you will be <laughs> That will be the capital. One of the turbines there. Kainji State. We can't go through this dance of to, to common sense. America has only 50 states, as if it one in Alaska. Do you know how big America is? Mm -hmm. Do you know that Texas alone is bigger than West Africa? Only Texas. And this one state, one state, you fly for two hours from what, from Corpus Christi, I'm sure, to Houston, Texas. Very, very far. One state. In the zoo, they want to keep the 18 states that they have found them into ordinary local authorities. All in a bill to get us money. Allocation, that is the only thing, fuel is just allocation. All these states they created, can you see any development in them? No. We were growing at the rate of 42% when Michael Lapara was running the entire Biafra minus Midwest. On Mbappé, we were growing at the rate of 32% in Imo State then. Every blessed year, year on year, real time growth, not a type of country one and another by this basic, not about the basic proper economics. Can anybody tell me one functioning factory in New York State? There's a point more than 50 people. One fact does the boy have you? Do you know what the factory is in the boy? I'm a prisoner of factory in the boy state. Yeah? I think they have a place to make the <laughs> no, seriously speaking, since they closed in Canada, in many factories, is there any factory in every state right now to speak? No, no idea. Is there any factory in Abia? Abia zero. And they are creating more states. Amazing. The Nobel laureate, Professor Wolof Sherinka, has likened Nigerian soldiers to the very Islamic sect Boko Haram, speaking on Saturday night at the grand finale of Wolof Sherinka Prize for Literature in Africa, described as shocking the alleged burning on Friday last week of some BRT buses on the Kudu Road, Lagos, by protesting soldiers. Sherinka called on Good Lord Jonathan to take up the matter. I demand the commander in chief to do something about it. Example must be said. This is not the first time we have had enough. That they have had enough of the zoo. What do you expect when you put people together and turn them into brutalizing animals? What do you expect? What do you expect? As more than a thousand delegates to the national conference held a series of crucial meetings on Sunday night to strategize on the vexed issue of state creation and delisting of local government from the constitution, both sides are reportedly working on options available to them, including the possibility of another round of voting. To this end, delegates, especially those from the minority groupings in the north, and particularly those representing North Central, are reportedly being wooed, mainly by four northern delegates, to vote in support of their views of the issues. They are having a meeting to decide on how best to proceed in the compound, which we know is going to end up as a fact. Also, at the ongoing national conference in Abuja, they will acknowledge panic today as a member of the conference review that he received a threat message of attack from some unknown un un terrorists. The delegate is Chief Michael Zegerman. He told the conference that he received the message 
via his telephone, threatening an attack bigger than Nyanya Blast, and sought the permission of the chairman of the Confab, Justice Idris Kutugi, to read the message. I wish they can do anything they like to do. They can't read it. That Boko Haram is coming. They have been killing people every present day. They are insisting on a head count in the zoo. But let me tell you why it is important that you don't call yourself a Nigerian. It's important you don't do so. And I'll tell you why. This is Boko Haram's home, hometown struggle to fend off rebels. Wall Street Journal has been writing on Nigeria. Wall Street Journal is owned by Rupert Murdoch, the owner of Sky, B Sky B, the owner of Fox News, the owner of ABC News in Australia. A very powerful man indeed. Very, very powerful. You don't win elections in the United Kingdom unless he likes you. Very, very powerful man, this man is. He owns Wall Street Journal. This is the second devastating article that Wall Street Journal is doing on the zoo. They are the ones that linked or likened the activities of Niger Delta militants to that of Boko Haram. These people now, they are telling you this. Listen very carefully. They said Nigeria is the birthplace of Islamist militant group. That Nigeria is the birthplace means that every Nigeria is a suspect. Once you say you're in Nigeria, they'll ask you to go to one side. You are automatically a suspect. That is why you must work very hard for the aircraft to come and come very, very quickly. That is the news headline today. I've been in summary, the barrister is with me. But before I go to the barrister, we will go around here one after the other before you speak. You will give us your name and where you come from. We need to introduce ourselves. That is how we do it. I have not forgotten. We wanted to get the news headlines out of the way before our lines open because too many people are calling us already. You will take the microphone one after the other. You will step to the front, your name and where you come from. Please, one after the other, to introduce yourself to the world. Go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, my director. Um, my name is Chika Edozen. I'm from Idoma in our local Biafra land. I want to say welcome to our Biafrans who are here present, those with their families and the children that we have here. Biafrans who are listening all over the world. From Switzerland, we say good evening to you. Uh, we say good morning. We say Good afternoon, and some of you who are already preparing to go to bed, we say good night. Um, it is our pleasure to welcome you on this very, very wonderful occasion to receive our director here in Switzerland. And um, I say, please, please stay on, get tuned in, and um, enjoy the broadcast. Thank you very much. Good evening uh, from Switzerland, the wonderful, wonderful people of Biafra all over the world. Um, this is Mr. Austin Abain from Amike, in our local government, Biafra land. Um, it's our great pleasure to receive our director and leader, Radio Biafra, and the Biafra people, uh, Mr. Nam Dekano, in our midst tonight. Uh, I want to use the opportunity to thank all my coordinators, um, Mr. Anipe Martins. I want to thank uh, my secretary, um, Mr. Upudere. Igwe. Igwe. I want to thank Mr. Cosmas Ugueya, my treasurer. I want to thank Google, who is my zonal treasurer. I want to thank Kinsley. I want to thank Mr. Martin, my secretary. I want to thank Mr. Kinsley. 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 I want to thank Mr. Kins
as uh, my, my secretary in the zone of all things. These are the people that are making it happen in this country. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have been where we are today. I want to thank even those who couldn't make it here, such as uh, Mr. Stephen Nodim and the uh, Geneva coordinator and the people in Geneva whom we are going to join tomorrow. Uh, I thank uh, my co-worker, uh, the, the secretary of the, the European representative, Mr. Chika Edoziem, who has been working relentlessly uh, for the restoration of Biafra. I thank all of you so much. Uh, I thank all the Radio Biafra Board of Directors and uh, all the crew, crew members who are working with the Mitternam the Khan. I thank all of you and I thank all the fans all over the world, all coordinators and their secretaries and their those, those who are working uh, relentlessly to make sure that Biafra is restored. <coughs> thank you so much and keep uh, keep on keeping on and stay tuned as we broadcast from Switzerland. God bless all of you. All over the world. Uh, my name is Iwe Opudene John Peter. I'm from Asia and here with the whole government area and I'm from I'm happy to